guys, Twinkle here. Welcome to Five Nights at Treasure Island Remaster Demo phone call. And I've also got a phone call from night one that I did before I beside it. So let's first go through the phone call we hear in the remastered demo. Hey bud, this is Greg. So Greg's still here. And we got our friend's name. This is how you properly introduce yourself on the phone. You don't go like saying, not saying your name at all like they do in Five Nights at Freddy's. Because then we're like, who are you? I wouldn't be talking to you. I don't know who you are. Thanks for helping us out with this again. So, we want to thank you again. You know, he has thanked us once. We have met him in person, mostly. No, we'd have one of our staff be the night watchman. So, are we working for the company, just out of curiosity? Our staff be the night watchman. But, uh, we're still stuck in Alabama. It's good to know that they're safe elsewhere and we're stuck here. But they're in Alabama. Getting our equipment together to ship back, so I guess an intern will have to do. <laughs> Yay! Intern. Intern, of course, means you're learning how to do the job. You're interning, you know, in this job and everything. Why would you do it? I don't worry, I know we'd be fine. The last intern just, uh, uh, well, uh, anyway. Not one stirring that in sentence at all. Did I feel better? I'm assuming the last intern met their end. This person's clearly dead. I'm just saying, they're clearly gone. I think he got him. We already have set cameras for you to keep an eye on the place. So they've already set up cameras. They have already been to the location. After all, they must have been there to set up cameras. I am the place. Got it. And more apparently, we need you to, uh, keep a close eye on a suit for us? So, confirmed for us, definitely a suit. You'll see him lying down. He's photo negative. He didn't say Mickey this time, he just called him photo negative. Last time he called him photo negative Mickey costume, this time he's just calling him he's photo negative. So he never actually said he's called Mickey. He's just called for a negative in this one, apparently. Your name's, your um, name's like downgraded. <laughs> you really can't miss him. I guess you could if you're looking at the wrong camera, really. Cause he's laying down. You really can't miss him. I wish I could miss him, cause it's in my face all the time. Now I'm sure you hit the room of slowing around the workplace. Okay, so we do work there often. And he says, legally, are we working for Disney? Around the workplace, legally, I can neither confirm or deny any suspicious activity due to a supernatural being. Now that is new to me. Supernatural being? I'm assuming at this point he's actually referring to our new friend, Suicide Mouse. Why this mess that actually contemplates suicide, I don't know. But hey, let's say hypothetically. I'm just saying, no, hypothetically, if something were to get in your office, not like it would get into your office, he's trying to say. He's trying to say it's not likely it should get into your office. Um, it's important that you make noise elsewhere in the building. Really? Hypothetically? Were to get into your building, you just told me it was a suit, it's not supposed to move, and yet you can't confirm nor deny. Meaning there's a possibility there is a supernatural being and I'm working in this place all alone, I'm an intern. I'm all alone! You, you didn't give Greg anything to defend himself with. Were to get into your office, it's important that you make noise elsewhere in the building. That... Somewhere else in the building, they probably won't hear me over um, Suicide Mouse's racket from the goddamn TV. That's probably the problem. That's why, you know, Fortnite and Mickey keeps getting me. It's because the other one's making so much noise. We found the shutting off one of the cameras seemed to work because, well, it can't really see. Okay, he said it can't really see. I mean, it can, it can kind of see, but it has good hearing. Marvelous. I need to react quickly. Doesn't matter how blooming quick you go with him lately. Anyway, I gotta get back to packing up the gear so we can head back. Okay, so we can head back. Dylan, check them cams and we'll see you. We'll, uh, see you later. You, you honestly didn't expect Jake to survive the night from all that. 
you could tell he was clearly, Greg was clearly nervous. He doubted we were going to survive. There probably was other interns before the last one who all meant a really bad end. And apparently, you know, workplace, so we do work with them. We should have heard rumours. And he can neither deny a farm's supernatural being. I thought perhaps he was distorted, Mickey, because he didn't make an appearance. So again, I don't know if it's distorted, Mickey, because it is confirmed, so sorry, I can indeed speak, and I will include a screenshot at the end where uh, the creator, Matthew, does confirm the story does indeed have a voice. But this call is much different from what it was before. Instead of calling him for a negative, Mickey, he calls him for a negative. And then there's the addition of a supernatural being that wasn't mentioned before. In fact, all the phone calls only seem to contain... You know, the first call was for Negative Mickey by himself. Then we had warning about Oswald and for Negative Mickey at the same time. Again, it's less, but clearly he's more nervous here. He was trying to reassure us nothing bad was going to happen, but clearly he knew otherwise. He had prior knowledge. They had been to this location. They'd left, and they left an intern. Wait, are they monitoring me while... Are they monitoring Jake as he's there to see what these guys do? I hope that's not the case, because cause that's just disturbing, if it is. You want me to gather proof and everything for you, and you've left me by myself when clearly the last intern did a really rubbish job and died. Marvellous. Marvellous. I'm enjoying this so much in this version. Not to mention, there was no warning the supernatural being was going to be as loud as hell. And that, of course, was the remastered demo version on this side here. In this version, of course, only Fonega Mickey and Suicide Mouse are actually moving around actively in the night. But this one clearly makes me more nervous than that one does. Because there's mention of, like, legal issues. If that wasn't mentioned before, he wasn't concerned about legal issues. He just did the best he could to reassure us we'd be fine. Yet everything here, uh, you know, makes him doubt we'll even survive the night. And this, in the previous version, he was, like, more understanding and trying to make us aware that there was something to be worried about. It's very different from the original call. Similar, but a lot of things are different. This crowd clearly made me worry more. And obviously our new friend is loud as hell. Of course, the original one, it's not Hey Bud, because he's updated. We're called Hey Bud instead of Hey Buddy. It's Greg here. This is Greg. So it's not like the same way. It's Greg here, like you know him. This is Greg. Thanks for helping us out with this again. Sorry again for making you do this. Apologetic. Wasn't quite there. Normally we'd have one of our staff on the night watch. To be the night watch. We don't tell him, but we're still over in Alabama. Never once mentioning the staff. There wasn't a mention of staff in this one. There is to be here now. You're an intern after all, but we're still over in Alabama getting our equipment ready. We're still stuck in Alabama getting our equipment together to ship back. Couldn't I have been left with a weapon or something? Clearly something? Or maybe advice like, how about when some when um, so-called for and Mickey, which is clearly has very terrible eyesight, but keen ears, couldn't I just throw something while I'm sitting at the desk to the other side of the room and then he can go over there instead of coming for me? But there is a lot of differences between phone, the phone call and the remastered version to the phone call we hear before. And here it is. You've probably heard of the photo negative Mickey costume. Not a suit. Costume. In this version. But he's clearly, he calls him photo negative Mickey and he calls him the photo negative. What company are we working for? Are we freelancing or are we actually the working company of this place? What this used to be. Oh god. I think I prefer the last phone call. 
the first version, I didn't feel so scared. In this one, I'm more worried because the supernatural being of loud TV. But that aside, the difference as well between the phone calls heard in the first version of Five Nights at Treasure Island and the remastered version is, during that phone call, none of the characters were active. They weren't becoming active during the phone call. The only one that would uh, sometimes pop up during the phone call was Distorted. But then again, Distorted wouldn't actually interrupt the phone call. He'd just appear for a few seconds and then disappear. Now, whereas in the remastered version, it's possible for Suicide Mouse to cut off the phone call altogether by turning on the TV and coming out of it. Or Mickey just, you know, doing his jump scare of glitchingness and, you know, shutting it off and killing you. With the remastered version, you can die while the phone call's going on, yet you're less likely to get killed in the original version. So yeah, that's a big difference. Greg, you made me feel worse in this one. I No, I'm not going to be comparing the one that was said in the TB um, HC, the one with the woman voice, because I honestly cannot stand that voice at all. It goes through me, and that Greg sounded like a woman and not a guy. But yeah, I did, here of course is the phone call for the remaster version. So yeah, I've done all the phone calls now for Friday Night at Treasure Island to date. Yay! I do hope you enjoyed. More vids coming up. Thanks for watching.